Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this question, I'll be going over question 130 on SF exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So then this question is asking, calculate the expected value of this piece of equipment after three years of use. And they say the value of this after three years of use is this thing right here. So they're basically saying, find the expected value of 100.5 to the x. We can actually throw the 100 out because it's a constant. So then you become 100 times x to the value of 0.5 to the x. Also recall that this, and then they, they also tell you that x has a rent moment generated function given by right here, right? And then the moment generated function, the definition a moment generated function is equal to the expected value of e to the tx. So we want to somehow try to make this look like this so we can substitute that moment generated function in. So we also know that e and natural log is equal to 1. So we can actually multiply anything by 1. So putting that substitution in there, we get 100 e to the e to the natural log of 0.5 to the x. And remember, there is also another rule. If a is raised to a, um, a, a constant is raised to an x, this is equal to x natural log of a. So same idea here, if it's 0.5 raised to an x, when you multiply by natural log, you, by the natural log rule, you can bring that x down to next to the natural log of 0.5. So using that, we can say 100 e to the x to the value of e to the natural x times natural log of 0.5. Cool. So now this looks exactly like the definition, right, of this, where t is equal to natural log of 0.5. So this is equal to 100 x to the value, oh, 100 m of x of t being equal to natural log of 0.5, right? So then the moment generated function at natural log of 0.5, I just have to plug in that um, RT value here. So you get 1 over 1 minus 2 natural log of 0.5. This is equal to 41.9, which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share.